Hi guys, this is Retouch from Tab, just uh, doing an unboxing video of the uh, BlackBerry 10 Dev Alpha that we've got here today. I uh, just thought I'd open it up for you here in beautiful sunny Fort Orlando, Florida, and uh, show you what we got. So, we've got the Dev Alpha here, ready to go. Here are one of the uh, US developers that gave you a SIM card, some, some instructions to go with that, and just some of the support resources that you have if you uh, need help uh, getting started with your device. So, let's get started with opening everything. So, nice packaged product. See that there. So my device actually seems to have come open. I'm wondering if maybe they were doing some last minute changes. So let's open it up. Let's see what's inside. So see right there that we've got is that right in there. The actual device, prototype device. All in a nice soft silicone rubberized case. Pull it out of that just to see what what's on there. So We've got the device on the front, we've got the you know, standard uh, headphone microphone, uh, earphone microphone, sorry, but uh, front facing camera. And uh, on the sides, we can see a uh, micro SIM card slot, micro USB, and micro HDMI, 16 gigabytes built in. On the top, we've got our media buttons, just like we've uh, come to expect on the playbook. Um, seems to be something along the bottom, I'm not quite sure what that's for, we'll have to find out about that. And at the top, power button and a headphone jack. If we look at the back, we've got our rear facing camera with flash along with some uh, boilerplate uh, instructions and uh, property of research in motion sticker that uh, many co-op students might be familiar with when they work at the, with the prototype devices at, uh, at RIM. I know I am. So, if we go on to what's in the box, you can see that uh, there's some uh, Little instruction booklet, so some start your documentation, safety product information, uh, the SIM tool tray for your micro SIM card, micro USB cable, and looks like they include the same rapid, uh, or not rapid, but uh, blade charger that the uh, playbook uses. So uh, looks like it's the same, pretty much. And that's pretty much all that's inside the box. So let's uh, see what we do. We can peel this plastic off and get the pretty device. Peel the back. <coughs> Looks pretty good, so let's turn it on. So, really a red light that we uh, come to see on the playbook when we turn it on. Here we go, Blackberry 10 Dev Alpha running right up on the screen. It's actually a uh, really nice screen. The fact that I'm looking at this from the top down, and I can see it perfectly. So it's got a tremendous viewing angle. So uh, just to make it clear, this is an alpha device prototype, not nearly uh, close to what uh, will eventually be released at the end of the year. So having uh, not turned this on, I have no idea what to expect. But the one thing I can probably expect is a lot of bugs. So we're watching this and. Uh, Expecting a finished product, this is not it. Uh oh. Ah. One. While it's booting, I'll tell you that it's uh, pretty light, I'd say. It's not uh, too heavy. So it's nice to touch. Won't really know until I actually get it. So. Instruction booklet kind of includes a message from uh, Alex Saunders and Christopher Smith uh, trying to 
motivate developers to develop for the platform and uh, their vision for what BlackBerry 10 is actually going to be. So, let me give some of the uh, overview of the actual hardware. Now, back, shows you how to use. Shows you how to use the actual touchscreen device and whatnot. So look at that live letter. We've got the device on it. So I'm just gonna go English. Okay. Ah, that's funny. It uh, actually still says your new BlackBerry, Blackberry Playbook tablet. So uh, this is a really alpha OS that's on here. So, let me select the actual country that I'm in. Well, I'm not in this country right now, but I won't be in. Swipe left. Right now, we need to connect to a Wi-Fi network to find one. And what I do know, when speaking to others, is that it's necessary to move on to the next step. So, we can jam. Okay. Connect. I don't know what that says. Ah, failed to connect the network. Be honest, I don't think this is quite, quite going to work right now. A lot of people are having trouble with this earlier, so I'm not expecting miracles here. I think this is where the video is going to stop. Yeah, okay. So I will continue the video when uh, I get it on the Wi Fi.